on inside. You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but... We're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now. We can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? The institute? What's that? Ah, oh, damn. Look, I really shouldn't have said that. They're just a scapegoat, all right? Something people blame when things go wrong. If you really want to know, there's a whole newspaper inside the city that won't stop talking about them. Public occurrences. I just need a little information, Danny. We can keep this off the record. I'm sorry, but I can't. I got orders. I'll ask somewhere else, then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? Kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Read the public. Find out. Okay. Hey, Piper. Holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this going to be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, what? They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every 10 feet? 
You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. And my god, the smell. Okay. Well, it's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. And people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. forever. At least, not if I have my say. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success until someone threatened their life. Me? I'm very successful. there's anything I can do to lighten the load, or, you know, if you need anything proofread. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute Piper. grabs you in the night away, at least we warned you. Sure, let's go. Will do. Oh, sorry, boy. Time for you to head home.
big, loud, little corrupt officials. Anyone is in one of those. I ain't telling you how to pick your friends. I just kind of trouble. Her and her. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City Sun. Shopping at night? Diamond City Sun must always open. Bills. Huh. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Mickey's missing? What has he gotten himself into this time? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast of ways. People with power there care about two things. Style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. 